How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today is a big day. We got our forks for our tractor. You know, ever since we bought the uh, Kubota tractor, I've been needing a set of forks. So, my neighbor Ricky been letting me borrow his and I've been using them on the sawmill, moving firewood. We're just doing a lot of stuff with these forks and I really needed a set of my own. And man, have you seen the prices of forks today? They're outrageous. You know, I couldn't find anything under $800 to $1,000 for a set of forks. Well, uh, this company, Yenitech, I think I'm saying that right. I'll put it across the screen here. I'm not sure. But they uh, wanted, to, wanted me to review a set of forks, so they sent us out a set of forks. And we're about to open up the box and see what they look like and see how they perform. Now, here's the thing. I don't have a commercial uh, business here. Um, this is a very small homestead. Uh, only thing I need to do is move logs on the sawmill, uh, maybe a pallet here and there, or lift some firewood so you can cut it. It's much easier on your back if you got a set of fire or forks to lift the wood up and then cut it off. Uh, it's not like that's something I would use absolutely every day, so I don't need a really expensive set of forks. Honestly, I don't. Well, these forks, if I'm not mistaken, they'll, they'll lift up to 2,600 pounds or 2,800 pounds. My little tractor won't even lift 2,800 pounds, so I ain't never going to have to worry about these forks. So, I think they're going to be okay, but we're going to get them unboxed and get them put together and uh, see how they work. All right, this is the box that the forks came in, and I noticed uh, it has a lot of tape on it. Let's just hope all the parts are in here to put these things together. Um, I don't know. The box is pretty rough, so it's been beat up a little bit, but it does have some tape on it, so we'll see. We'll go ahead and cut the box open. This will be the first time I've had a look at the forks, and you have a look at the forks. These things are pretty heavy. They're pretty heavy, so... Things are moved around a little bit in there. Some busted up styrofoam, but I'll be honest with you, you got to expect that. Um, you have to expect it. These things are heavy, and they're moving around in there pretty good. So, I'm going to get this stuff laid out, get everything sorted out, and then we'll get to putting this thing together. I don't think there's much to it at all. Alright, just by looking at this, this looks like it's going to be an extremely easy uh, job to do putting these together you only have two pins they give you two pins and one's going to go over there and one's going to go over on this side and they also give you an inch and seven eighths ball now you say why the inch and seven eighths ball well on the tip of these forks you're able to put a ball in here mount that ball in there and to be able to move a log splitter around which is that's what we do a lot we move the log splitter around a lot and we're moving a small trailer around and this makes it nice for that now what's nice about these you have a ball you can put a ball on that side and a ball on this side you can put a two inch ball over there an inch and seven eighths over here which will work out great because we have some stuff to use an inch and seven eighths and some that use a two inch but we're not going to use this all the time mainly we're going to be using this forks that's what we wanted them for just the forks to move logs around in firewood and whatnot here on the homestead so uh, we're going to go ahead and get this up on top of here. Now these are quick attach uh, skid steer uh, forks. So they should be able to mount right on my tractor with no problem. Man, it's going to be so nice to have my own set of forks. <clears throat> now this is the plate that's going to mount to the tractor. This thing is pretty heavy. So we're going to get it back here and set it right on top of these forks. Like I said, it's pretty heavy. 
you might want to get somebody to help you on this part. But it wasn't that bad. So now that we got them set up on there, all we have to do is take our pin, slide it in the hole. Once you get it in the hole there, you're going to take one of these little clips and slide it right down in there. And do the same thing to that side. We're done. That's just how simple it is. Set it up on there, put your two pins in, it's ready to go. Now what we got to do is see if it'll hook to the tractor. Let's get that hooked up. stoked about having my own set of forks. These forks seem like they were on there pretty tight. They're not loose at all. They're very tight on this tractor. Now one thing I can't do with these forks that I could have done with Ricky's is move them in and out. But it's not often. I never even moved Ricky's when I had them on there. I never moved them in and out anyhow. These look like they're set up just perfect for a pallet or even for what I need to do as far as moving logs. I think they were set up just fine for me. It's a seven eighths ball.
something else I wanted to show you in, about this uh, set of forks is, you see this slot right here? This slot right here is for a chain. So let's say we got a log on there. We can wrap our log around, or our chain around the log, like so. Now we can take the chain and latch it up in here. This is going to keep the log from falling off. That's going to help. That's going to keep this log from falling off the fork. All right, one thing I wanted to look at uh, on these uh, forks. Now, if you noticed this plate that we mount the uh, tractor to, this is a what they call a, a skid steer quick attach is what this is. And this plate of steel is quarter inch thick. This is a heavy duty piece of steel here. Uh, definitely what you want on a set of forks. Now when you look at the way these are attached to the uh, skid steer quick attach, this piece right here, these have a really nice bead of weld all the way around on a plate that's mounted to this. And then you have C-channel welded onto here, which leaves you a channel inside of here that you can put your stock in and be able to pin it. Now these tubes, these forks are actually hollow tube forks. Uh, they're not really heavy and for a small tractor like mine Which cannot lift a lot anyhow these forks really work out nice uh, They're not now if you, these were solid steel these would be very very heavy and hard for my tractor to even lift You know that takes off the amount of weight that I could put on them by having solid tubes But these things seem like they're very very strong uh, These look to be about 3 16 steel right here not quite a quarter, but these plates are just uh, to keep this from bending out of place, which they have a pretty good setup here. And it does look like they're all welded all the way around. It's not spot welded, it's welded all the way around. And that's a good thing. Because, you know, I think about an inch of weld will hold about 30,000 pounds. So you just imagine how much strength you would have to have to break these. How much weight would you have to have on there to break them? So they're actually constructed very well. I'll show you some of the welds. Now when you look at these welds, these are not spot welded. These are welded all the way around. All the way up and all the way down the other side. And the same way with these here. These are welded all the way down. Not spot welded. You get that spot weld in there. That thing, man, I don't like when they just spot weld. I'd rather see full welds. And if you look down in here, you can see this right here. Let's see if I get you a little brighter in here. All the way down to here, this is all welded. This is not spot welded. It's welded all the way around. It continues around this side, down, and all the way underneath. So this is actually welded really well. A nice setup. Now when you look at the tip of these forks, 
you're able to put your ball in here. We're talking a quarter inch steel right here plate. This looks like our 3 16th again, up going up through here. And this plate and this plate, these are welded together. All the way across this inside is all welded. I can feel with my finger, welded underneath. This is welded up here, but I think this has been ground off nice and smooth, so everything slides on easy and welded here. I don't think you're gonna have an issue with these. Uh, they seem to be pretty good. So we're gonna see in the future videos, you're gonna be seeing me use these forks and uh, definitely I have a lot of work to do with them. So the construction of these forks are actually pretty nice. Uh, I think they're pretty heavy. You come up to this top piece, this looks a little thin, uh, but this is not something you're gonna use. This is not where weight goes. This is like if you was hauling a refrigerator or a crate or boxes, this would keep it from falling back on the tractor, which is okay, but it's not really made to hold a bunch of weight. It's not supposed to. Then you come down to your, this is where your chain goes in to tie stuff on or a strap. This is sturdy, pretty sturdy. I don't think we're gonna have too much of an issue with that. It doesn't hold weight. It just keeps everything from sliding off the forks. So overall construction of these forks, I think are really good. I don't think we're going to have an issue with a small tractor like mine. We're not going to have any issue with these forks at all. Okay, that's a quick look at the forks. Um, I think there's an unlimited amount of things that we could do with these forks here on the homestead. This is something I've been wanting since I bought the tractor. I've been borrowing the neighbors and I always say if you got to borrow something more than twice, you probably should own it. And I think this is a, one of the best things I got for my tractor. I like the bucket too, but I think I'm going to be using these forks probably more because we have so much to do uh, that involves wood, like picking up logs and putting them on a the sawmill or just stacking logs or, or cutting firewood. We could use this to lift firewood and cut off of it, which is great. So in future videos, I think you're going to be seeing these used a lot. So I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are interested in these, check them out. I think you're going to find out you got a really good quality fork here, and you're not paying as much money out there as... Man, I'm looking at forks online, I'm seeing anywhere between $800 and $1,000. I don't have that kind of money. And my tractor, these forks are only made for about 26 or 2,800 pounds. My tractor's not going to break them. My tractor won't even lift that much weight. So this is actually a good find for these compact tractors. This is definitely a good find. So I would like to tell everyone, don't forget to check out the description down below for a link. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.